Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video for you. Today I have a very simple video. I had a, a message come through a couple days ago very discreetly from one of my subscribers who was kind of curious if I had any input or wanted to share any techniques on how to set a mousetrap. So I'm answering that message with this video for those of you who are interested in seeing how I do my mouse traps well this video is for you the individual is a very loyal subscriber to my channel and again did it very discreetly probably because of the embarrassment of the question so here's my input on your question so the first thing that I prefer when it comes to mouse traps is I like to use the Victor mouse traps and I like to use the ones that have this type of bait platform here now when you first buy a mouse trap there's gonna be a small staple right here holding this bar here so I usually take like a butter knife and I'll stick it underneath there and I'll pop that loose and this little staple I usually discard I usually throw that in the trash because I don't need that that's just that little staple so what that does is that frees up this little bar now the way a mousetrap works is we basically pull this thing back like this let me get a hold on it <laughs> these things are so fun to work with so I pull let me start over so I grab this bar right here it's spring loaded and I grab this and I pull it all the way back and I like to rest w with both of my thumbs holding it and I don't put my fingers anywhere in this location while I'm loading this trap I like to fold this bar over and there's a little place right here underneath my finger right there there's like a little catch right there and that little catch catches this bar once I put the bar there I kind of relieve the pressure with my thumbs a little bit so that the weight of this spring-loaded mechanism is being transferred to this bar and being held by this bait thing so what happens is when the mouse comes you put your bait on there he touches that it releases this bar BAM and that thing slaps shut and hits him now when I put bait on these traps I don't use cheese I use peanut butter I think peanut butter works good you can use chunky creamy whatever you want and if it's a brand new mouse trap and you have clean hands you can dip your finger in there and just smudge a little bit of peanut butter on this uh, bait platform and uh, if you're reusing the the mouse trap like say you've caught a mouse before what I like to do personally is I take these mouse traps and I put them in the dishwater and I clean them with soap and hot water and a scrub brush a scrub brush that's not gonna come in contact with any food or any dishes or anything like that I have a stainless steel sink and I clean my mouse traps and I reuse them so for the video let me load this thing again I'll pull this bar back both of my thumbs go into place the, the transfer bar comes across and holds onto the bait platform and then I set the mouse trap so, when the little mouse comes walking along, here's our little mouse right here, right? He comes walking along and he touches this bait platform. The, the thing releases and it catches him. That's how they work. Very simple process. So, in our case, we're going to pretend that this is a dirty mouth strap. So I've got my peanut butter, I've got my butter knife here, and I'm just gonna get a lot a little bit of peanut butter. Doesn't take much. The reason I like peanut butter is because it seems to attract them with its scent. It's a very good smell that they like to smell. So I'm gonna load this thing back just like this. got to have that bar just the right way and before I put this little bar into the into the bait trap uh, bait holder I'm gonna smear some peanut butter on it see like that just smear a little peanut butter on it 
and set that baby just like that. Don't put your fingers anywhere in this direction over here. So then you set the mouse trap down and you're ready to go. So it's actually a very simple process and it's very effective. I like peanut butter because it tend it ten, like cheese. I think they can come up there and they can kind of nibble on the cheese and maybe even grab the piece and steal it. But on peanut butter, they actually have to get involved in working to get that peanut butter off of there. They have to lick it and they have to get into it. And especially if you can put some of the peanut butter inside this circle area right here. If you can stick some in there, they'll really work to get it out of there. And when they do, that's when it'll nail them. If you have an idea of where the mouse is coming from, like in my case, I know that he comes in and out of this hole. And I am going to set the trap right next to that hole right in the area where he likes to come in and out so what what my plan is is this little mouse he's gonna come out of his little hole and he's I, I don't want to put the mouse trap close like this otherwise he'll fall on it and it I don't know if it'll catch him I want to entice him with the bait I actually want to catch him by his head so what what the plan is is he's going to come out of this little hole, he'll have a little spot here to land and then he'll say whoa there's bait right there and then he'll start getting after it and I think that I'll be able to catch him there's one more thing that comes to mind before I go and that is when you go to the store to purchase mouse traps you might see that they that they sell some mouse traps that are glue type traps so they're they're basically like a piece of cardboard or something and it's got some really sticky like glue stuff on it and what happens and the reason I don't use those is because what happens is the mouse will walk on them and they'll get stuck to them now I've actually seen mice suffer where as something like these these kill them if those glue traps if you get a mouse caught on that and it doesn't catch him like his whole body and maybe it catches just like his his one arm or something I've actually seen mice chew their own arm off to get out of those glue traps and I don't like them because once again I don't think they're a humane way of taking care of these mice so I stay away from glue traps and I use these victors I've had plenty of luck and I've been using these for a long time I notice when the weather kind of changes and things get real cold outside that's when the mice seem to be pushed to come inside of our homes so again thanks for watching so folks I want to say thank you for joining me today on my very simple video on how to set a mousetrap I hope you got some good useful information out of this video please feel free to comment down below with techniques or things that might work for you and um, please feel free to share like subscribe check out my Facebook page and until next time have a beautiful day and happy mouse hunting thanks for watching bye bye